Hey, 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 hey. Hey guys, so today I will be going over the make line function in Tableau introduced in 2019.3. Can be used with various mapping purposes and I am going to walk you guys through how to do it. So first off, we need our data and we have city, state, zip, and country for both of our coordinates. And we have a latitude and longitude for each of these as well. So we're going to make a line from these on the left to these on the right. So in order to do this, I have a video posted on how to generate latitude and longitude and how to do the make point function. So I'm just going to be expanding on that with the make line function. So let's hop into Tableau and connect to this file. So, see here we have the lat long in here as dimensions, so make sure that everything is in there properly. You notice how that lat longitude was just a number. So here's what we're going to do. In order to make the make line function, we need to create two different sets of points. So points one. And we're going to do a make point function. This is explained in my previous video. And that is going to be let long. So there's one of them. And we're going to do points two. Let two. long to. So as you can see we have two sets of points. Points one right here and points two right here. So now that we have these points we are going to need to make a make line function to connect these two points. So we're going to create a new calculated field called make line. So the syntax for make line is basically this you need to put in the start where the starting point is and the end where the ending point is. So in order to get these points, we use the make point function to do this. So our starting point is going to be points 1, and they're going to be going to points, points 2. So we are going to go on a worksheet and throw in the make line so it should do a collect to collect all the lines so there we go and now it's just one giant line here but if we want to get these a little bit more uh, differentiated I guess we could put city in there and city 2 in there city state so we're going to actually color this by the origination city. So there we go. Personally, I think these lines look better in a dark map. And this is useful for many logistics functions. You can show routes from point A to point B, show where you can improve your supply chain, show maybe where your supply chain is sufficient, Various things. There's so many analyses you can perform with this function, and you can add a distance function to that, to this as well, which I'll be covering in my next video. And thank you for watching, guys. And I hope this farthered your knowledge on how to do a make line.